Welcome back to Fox and Friends. A bizarre new disinformation campaign in China now claiming that COVID-19 was imported to Wuhan through a shipment of Maine lobsters. This, as the National Institutes of Health admits that the U.S. did fund gain-to-function research in Wuhan, contradicting previous claims from Dr. Fauci. Here to react is former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega. So this isn't welcome, first of all, Morgan. Always great to see you. Um, this isn't the first time that the Chinese morning, have tried to say that it, this came from the U.S., um, but now they're doubling down. Why are they doing this now when it's become apparent to everybody that it's come from the Wuhan lab? Because there's no accountability for anything that they've done for the past mm. year and a half, and they're trying everything they can to deflect uh, from the Wuhan lab. And there's a pattern of who they accuse of uh, actually being the people or the country to start uh, COVID-19. So they've, of course, blamed the U.S. Army. They've done that on multiple times. Uh, they also have blamed Australia. They blamed India. What do these uh, three countries have in common? Well, obviously, under Mike Pompeo and President Trump, we stood up to the Chinese. Chinese Communist Party. Australia had the audacity to call for an independent investigation. And of course, India has been defending themselves, uh, defending their territory near the Himalayas uh, against the Chinese incursions there. So any country that dares to shine the light on what actually happened or to stand up to the Chinese Communist Party in any way, the Chinese try to deflect from Wuhan, try to deflect all the accusations and just say, oh, it's, it's Maine lobsters. Now, pointedly, they tried to blame Maine lobsters because they know that is an important uh, agriculture uh, c commodity and export in the United States. So they want to try to deflect and to hurt us at the same time. And I would finally say, Rachel, just remember, the doctors, the journalists, the scientists uh, who knew about what was happening in Wuhan and were blowing the whistle, they've all just magically disappeared in China. Right. That was the first clue that there were problems, that the whistleblowers yeah. were all disappeared. And you talk about holding China account accountable. Maybe we ought to start with holding Dr. Fauci accountable, who did everything he could. And we now have the, the letters of him colluding with other scientists to try and hide the fact that the U.S. was was funding gain of function. But more importantly, just trying to get us off the idea of China when nobody should, could have known better than Fauci about what was happening in that lab. He. He was all down with everyone saying that you were racist if you suggested that it came from China. Yeah, and, and importantly, it was actually in the Obama administration uh, that we did away with gain-of-function research because uh, that administration was concerned about things just like this happening. So there was a lot of uh, workarounds uh, that the NIH would do. Uh, Josh Rogan from the Washington Post has reported extensively on this, uh, on the workarounds that the NIH would do, was specifically in this lab and other places around the world to uh, to distract or try to make it look like they weren't actually uh, funding this gain of function research. And listen, this is why we live in a democracy. We need to shine the light uh, on anything that, that we are doing. But ultimately, listen, ultimately the Chinese Communist Party is trying to escape uh, responsibility for a deadly virus that they have unleashed on the world. There is still no real independent investigation into right. what happened. There is still no accountability and the world's asleep. Right. And our government appears to be an apologist for the Chinese government in this co in this cover up. Yeah. And you have to wonder why. Maybe it's the big guy. Um, thanks a lot, Morgan, and for sharing this information. It's so important. It's the most important yeah. topic going on right now. So thank you. I agree.